The black suburban police used to drive around the premier of Newfoundland is now part of a crime scene investigation. The owner of this home, Donald Dunphy, is dead, shot by a member of the premier's security detail yesterday afternoon. Sources tell CBC Dunphy pointed a gun at the officer. At the time, the officer was confronted and shots were fired. Uh, Mr. Dunphy, Mr. Don Dunphy, um, was declared deceased at the scene and uh, our officer did not receive any physical injuries as a result of the incident. Pretty well an eyesore. Police were investigating Dunphy, seen here in an interview by CBC about illegal dumping for threatening Premier Paul Davis on Twitter. Dunphy targets the Premier and a minister responsible for workers' compensation, saying they might have good family members I may hurt. People in his hometown can't believe he's dead over a tweet. People here have a lot of questions. They're, like, concerned over the way the, the guy came in to do the investigation. Like, if Donnie was a threat, why would they send in one plainclothes officer? I was shocked, uh, deeply saddened yesterday to learn uh, of the events that had taken place uh, yesterday. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a terrible tragedy for so many reasons. The Premier confirms his office complained to the police about Dunphy's tweets, though he personally knew nothing about it at the time. It's upsetting when you see a, a comment made like that that's directed, you know, it's directed towards, uh, appeared to me to be directed towards me and, and another cabinet minister, and, and also uh, the people who are most important to us, our families. Those who knew Donald Dunphy say he was a medical marijuana user who regularly invited local police into his home when they'd check up on him. Those friends say had local authorities been brought in on the threat investigation, it may have ended differently. Vicadopia, CBC News, St. John's.